like and subscribe to the Fellowship of Joy YouTube channel and check out our website, uh, fellowshipofjoy.ca. Alright, welcome back. I'm Pastor Doug. This is Rowan. Tonight we're reading Mark chapter 9, verses 14 to 29. Welcome to a moment of joy. When Jesus and those whom were with him came to the other disciples, they saw a large crowd around them. The teachers of the law were, were arguing with them. When all the people saw Jesus, they were filled with wonder, and they ran, ran to greet him. When you are arguing with the why are you arguing with them about where are you? Why are you arguing with them about? How does that make sense? That that's the question for today. What are you arguing with them about Jesus at all? Oh. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, he says, I bought you my son. He is controlled by an evil spirit. Because of this, my son can't speak anymore. When the spirit takes hold of him, it throws him to the ground. His form at mouth, his grid and teeth. He gnashes his teeth. He gnashes. Why does that say grind spell? Yeah, it grinds. Okay. Grinds his teeth and his body becomes stiff. I ask you, your disciples, to drive out the spirit, but they could not do it. You. Your unbelievable people, Jesus replied. replied, How long do I have to stay with you? How long do I have to put to put up with you? Bring me the boy, bring the boy to me. So they brought him. As soon as the spirit saw Jesus, it threw the boy into the field. Fit. Into a fit. Fit? Yeah, into a fit. He fell to the ground, rolling around as the form at the mouth. Jesus asked the boy's father, How long has he been like this? Since he was a child, he answered. The spirit has often thrown him into fire or water to kill him, but if you can do anything, take pity on us, help us, please help us. If you can, Jesus said, everything is possible for one who believes. Right, right away, the boy's father cried out, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Jesus saw the crowd was running over to see what had happened. Then he ordered the evil spirit to leave. The boy, the, your spirit has made him un, unable. Unable to hear and speak, he asked, I command you to come out of him, never enter him again. The spirit screamed and shook the boy with wildly. Then it came out. The boy looked so lifeless that many people by, took him by the hand. He lifted the boy. I think he said he was dead. That, that's not what it said at all. Yeah. He looked so lifeless that many people said he was dead. But Jesus took him by the hand. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted the boy to his feet. And the boy stood up. Jesus went indoors and his disciple asked him in private, Why couldn't you drive out the evil spirit? He replied, this kind can come out 
Only by prayer. Do you have any questions? I had one question left out. What was it? The what's the about the one the Bible went out of having a hard time reading it. That was the only question I had. Okay. Oh, what are you arguing with him about? Okay. Right. Yeah. And we'll find out actually what the argument is about in a day or two. Because they come back to it. So, alright. We'll see you tomorrow evening. Another moment of drive. Bye-bye.